it's fulfilling knowing that we're leaving the Student Athlete Advisory Committee in really, really good hands for next year. By seeing all the stuff that we were able to accomplish in just a year, it makes me feel really proud that we have such um, ambitious people on SAC, and not even just SAC, there were student athletes on the teams that aren't even involved that would help and come and ask, like, what can we do, how can we get involved? So I think knowing that they're so busy with their schedule as an athlete, as a student, but still want to be involved with the community and team impact and fundraising makes me feel proud as president to see that it sort of trickled down throughout the whole athletic community. I feel like a lot of these kids that we have don't have older brothers and sisters, so that's like our job to sort of be like their role models and their big brothers and sisters. And I don't have a little sister, so I love having Isabel because it's really fun to just have somebody that you know is going to look up to you. This year we talked it up a lot, definitely because we are number one in the country now and we really wanted to make this event bigger and more special, so we were really lucky to have staff participate as well. So we had eight staff teams, we had almost every athletic team there. We invited the team impact matches and their families to come bowl with us. Um, a couple of the teams did themes for their kids, so if they had like a favorite movie or something they dress up and it was really fun to just see the kids be involved with us and raise all this money for them and really make this like our top event for this um, program it was great. Seeing them and what they go through and they're all such strong kids I think really empowers us in a different way too because we're able to sort of step back and see that you know not a lot of people are as lucky as we are in the position we are but we can still appreciate what we have so much more because these kids are in our lives. Oh, the biggest thing this year was our Play for Tony games. Um, I had people from other schools asking to schedule their game when they were playing here because they wanted to be a part of it and they made their own ribbons and posted their own photos and the Albany lacrosse team actually gave a little speech before the game and said like let's win this for Tony. So I think knowing that we were able to really connect to other schools and bring everybody together just through these games and even like our fundraising events as well. It, it's really special to me knowing that they're thinking about that too. I want everybody in SAC and as a member of the athletic department to just feel really proud of where they are right now and how this university has just grown so much since I've been here and since they've been here and to take every moment that they have here and make the most out of it whether it be getting involved or just in appreciating like practice a little bit more or an event that we're doing, even school. And I think that by getting involved in all these things and seeing the community through Team Impact and the Santa Bash and we, a lot of us didn't even know Adam Keenan and didn't even know Tony but we're still able to connect so well with that and I feel like that's all about the pride of being, being a River Hawk and going to school here so that's something that I want everybody to feel coming through here and being a member of the athletic department.